Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the Toledo Rockets and the Akron Zips. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I'll tell you what, when you're the underdog, you've got to come out and play with such fire. you got to simply tell them upsets happen when a three-star player plays like a five-star player, plays with intensity, emotion, and passion. The Zips are looking to make this one a blowout early. What are the keys for them tonight, Dick? Yeah, on a night like this, the keys are pretty simple, Brad. Number one, the point guard has to be the leader out there. He's got to be the coach on the floor. Second, take care of the rock. No turnovers, baby. Turnovers only lead to easy scores the other way. Thirdly, play solid fundamental defense. And don't get caught gambling. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. Both teams looking to get things going here. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Kicks it out. The point guard handles the pass. Set that screen away. Dumps it in. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. They look to get it to the inside. There's a double team waiting there. He shoots from the angle. Way off target. Got a man in high post. For two, he nails the bucket. Trying to go inside. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Tries for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Here's a flash from the post up high. Gave it up. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Trying to feed inside. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. He's got a high post flasher. Tempo to game. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. The ball goes out of bounds. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Dump it inside. Number 11 is pounded on his way up. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. With the free throw. He sinks it. the second the ball goes out of play oh and you talk about a happy group of fans listen to this crap oh there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky the ball handler might be in trouble here that spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feet of the post. And he's going to pick up the foul and all. Oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. 
He goes to the line for the first time. First shot is no good. Gets it. Number 54 receives the ball. And he'll kick it back outside. The power forward handles the feed. Number two fakes the shot. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. On a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot. This is the best look. Thinks about the shot. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Number one is emotionally fired up. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. Look at that spacing. Takes the shot. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. Stolen. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. He buries it. Both free throws go. Working around the perimeter. He uses the shot fake. The center receives the pass. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. He cleans the glass. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two. They still don't score. on the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. He rejects it. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They're rocking right now. My goodness. From the baseline, he puts in another score. He can see the line, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. He shoots from the top of the key. They're just having a devil of a time getting good looks at the hole. That's right, Brad. I haven't seen a whole lot of plays carried out and executed the way they should be. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love it. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Good. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Looking for a good shot. Has a nice look at the basket. Pull-up jumper from way out. Questionable shot selection there. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. 
Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. That's seven unanswered. And he got them both. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball in his deck. Where's he going? Way off target. Working it around the perimeter. Jumps into the defender. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Gave it up. Looking for the foul. Perfectly executed. The student body is rocking tonight. They look like they're having a blast. And now they'll bring it up. Got an open look if he wants it. Number 33 picks up the foul. Third team foul. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? The crowd is enjoying this close one. The fans are just waiting for the favorites to pull away. But will it happen here tonight? Thanks, Aaron. Misses his third, rebounds it. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. Intercepted. perimeter the skip pass is picked off fakes the shot with a little baby hook in and out Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. There's the pick. There's the roll. Number 42. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, he blocks the shot. Rejection. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Boy, terrible execution on offense. He shoots from right in the circle. Off the rim and no good. Dick, they're giving this offense absolutely no good shots. Because they're keeping their feet moving and their hands waving, Brad. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move. And he does it exceptionally well. Both teams looking to get things going here. Tries for two. 
Great play to take that to the basket. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. On the outside. Leans in. Toledo are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this. I tell you, you're kidding me. That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. <laughs> Tries to get the D to bite. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beaten to the spot. Nice shot. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Puts it up, looking for contact. Perfectly executed. And he'll kick it back outside. Gave it up. There's a bad pass right to the defender. On the dribble, gives it up. With a jump hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Wide open for the shot. We'll take the shot. That's good. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He throws it up from downtown. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Brad, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Steals a pass. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Gave it up, trying to draw the foul. Toledo have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Number 33 is called for the foul. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Basket falls despite the contact. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. It's stolen. the top of the key. He nails the shot. Oh, 
That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for contact. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. For two. And in and out. You bet you. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Tries for two. They still don't score. Good job defensively. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Up and inside. For that reason right there, that's why I love college basketball. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. He tries the three. Way off target. The lane. Man, I'm afraid to hear this crowd. If they can get a stop on this possession. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. Doesn't go. Picked off. Pump fakes. He shoots from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Gets a hand in the way. Hey, when are these guys going to be able to make a shot? They work the perimeter. Got the shot if he wants it. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. <laughs> In the paint. There's the fake. Turnaround jumper. There's a very tight lid on that rim for him right now, Dick. That's right, Brad. Nothing seems to be dropping. Almost lost the basketball. Trying to draw some contact. In and out. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. On the dribble, gives it up, puts it up. Akron have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Takes the pass in the paint. Up fake. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. That's a nice looking play right here. job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Number 21, four, two. Working it around the perimeter. Had a guy in the post but elected to reverse the ball. 
from left of the circle. Way off target. Shot clock is dead. Gave it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Fakes a jumper. He lets it go. Off the rim and no good. At the half, the Zips are up by one. Dick, we've got a close one here tonight, my friend. Give us your highlight of the night so far. My highlight, Brad, has to be the great work in the paint so far. It'll be interesting to see who keeps it up in the next half. All right, Dick, let's get back to the action as the two teams are just about ready to start the second half. Akron did a masterful job of grabbing the boards in the first half, Mr. Vitale. Wow, I'll tell you, Brad, these guys are so well coached. The coaching staff preaches the importance of winning the rebound battle. And then they went out there and they just did that. All right, Dick, start of the second half. David versus Goliath. What do you expect? I tell you, always special when you see David and Goliath. And you know there are a lot of people out there who always want to root for David. I think it's important when you're David right now to come out and protect that basketball and get a good start in the first four minutes of half. High post screen. He's got to get rid of it. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Picks off the lazy pass. up the shot. Wow, used the screen perfectly, but the shot didn't go. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Three. He gets the bucket. For the bucket. Doesn't go. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. Isn't it great, Brad? Momentary look from three-point land. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball. Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. Number 33 picks up the defensive foul. <laughs> Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Second shot is no good. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And he scores despite the hack. On the dribble, gives it up. 
Top of the circle. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. And I don't think he's done yet, Brad. Dumping inside. Defense taking away any open looks. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. He intercepts it. He shoots from the top of the circle. He's money with a shot. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. He gets it to go. In the paint. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. And he missed. He's going nowhere. Ball going nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. You gotta eliminate those turnovers. That's why we have instant replay cameras. Town, way off target. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Look at that spacing. Jumps in, number 42 with a finger roll. Rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. He goes to the free throw line. It's the first. Second one, no good. These kids are really struggling from the free throw line tonight. I hope they can turn it around before it costs them the game. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Ten seconds remaining on the shot clock. <laughs> on the outside, takes the pass in the paint. He allowed the screen to develop before he tossed in an ice inside basket. Goes up for two. They still don't score. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Tries for two. And the ball goes out of play. 
Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover day. I'll tell you, turnovers could absolutely destroy a team. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chilled. It's electrifying in here. For the bucket, in and out. And he'll kick it back outside. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He gets it to fall. Gave it up. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. That's why some coaches don't like it when players go for the steal. They end up with fouls or in foul trouble. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Dick and Brad, looking at this matchup, the favorites came in with a better roster, but it seems as if they're playing as individuals. Their coaches are telling them, focus and let's play as a team, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Side. Jumps into the defender. Toledo are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they're putting it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. The ball goes out of bounds. Dick, about a medium sized crowd tonight. I'll tell you one thing you don't get a big edge as a home team. Inside. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Off the rim and no good. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Screen up on top. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. This may be a good... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Intercepted. They work the perimeter. Looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. Dump it inside. They've left him completely alone. Working it around the perimeter. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talent. And that one's blocked. On the dribble, gives it up. Steals the pass. To get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Number 21 draws the personal. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He steps up to the line. Makes the first. Drained it. Nothing but nylon. MBN. They work it around the perimeter. He dials long distance. Way off target. There was no doubt about that one. Goes up for two. Goes in. The 
Look at that spacing. For two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Knocked out of there. Blocked. Off the rim and no good. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. For the bucket, that was nice. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Way off target. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Takes the shot. Off the rim and no good. On the outside. Step out on that screener. Great shot block right there. He had some good movement on the offensive side. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Number 54 wants the crowd to get fired up and involved. I guess he feels that this defensive possession is a big one. Double team now, bad angle. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, the good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork, it's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. inside he intercepts it there should be an easy bucket here he got the dunk and the foul he went through that lane on a mission brad <laughs> if you want to know how aggressive a team is you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Picks off the lazy pass. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Dickey's going to go up strong. He got fouled and the bucket. He took it about himself, Brad. Big play, big time score. Dick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that taunting, though. Number 32 gets his first minute. Very strategic substitution, Brad. Good decision by the coach. No doubt about it. Takes away the pass. Working it around the perimeter. Now they work it around the perimeter. From the top of the circle. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad.
might be a change in the game plan right now, Dan. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. Had a momentary look from three-point land. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Picks off the pass. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. There's the trap. Dump it inside. He's got an open look for the shot. He shoots from the top of the circle. Toledo are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. From three-point land, he gets it to go. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. On the outside. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Defense, defense, defense. On the inside. Defense, Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific count it, and the foul. That's how he likes it, baby. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. They're working around the perimeter. For two. And he missed. High post screen. So effective, that screen. He hammers at home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on a defensive end. Mr. Excitement with that jam. Number 21 is whistled for the defensive foul. He goes to the line for the first time. Hits that one. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Routine. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Play about ready to resume. They work the perimeter. Unloads a three. Way off target. The point guard gets the ball. He shoots from long range. Off the rim and no good. He puts up the tray, way off target. Oh, 
Looking for a good shot. There they come with a double team to stop it. Defense giving some room. Working it around the perimeter. Up and inside. Tries the turn and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. From three-point range. He gets it to fall. Steele tries for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. This thing's going back to the drawing board, Dick. This wasn't supposed to happen. We didn't expect that they were going to lose this ball game, and I'm sure their fans and their coaching staff didn't expect it either. Well, I think what happened, Brad, they really weren't focused, and right now this will bring the reality. I think they start getting a little cocky. Maybe we didn't have press clippings, but now maybe they'll say to themselves, you know what? We better come to play, and we better be ready. And I think that starts with practice. Akron couldn't get enough going before the final buzzer. This is going to be hard to swallow since they were the favorites coming into this game. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.